oh, well, I, I do Adderall the night before, and I stay up late and pulling on Adderall. Oh, so what you're saying is you're damaging your recovery prior to a day where you're going to lift to write a paper. You could be writing now, but instead you're going to go, oh, I got to go get my bicep pump bra, and there's the girl there that I think is cute, but I'm not going to talk to her. Yeah, you can't fool me, bro. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. We're back with a car vlog because it's laundry day. The worst day of every two or three months I have to go do it. I despise laundry day. Oh, this truck is giant. I thought it was going to run into me. Okay, today we're going to talk about the number one sign that you are not training hard enough. All right, I know we hear a lot, you know, train harder. It's very common in bodybuilding culture, especially just uh, strain and grunt and die like Arnold and every set has to be the total failure and everything. I've discussed at length, guys, why going to failure constantly is not a good idea. Not only is it not necessary, it's really counterproductive depending on the exercise and the goals. I think this as a general test really applies to everybody. It definitely used to apply to me and it's changed since I've learned about actual training and programming and how to push myself more properly. I talked about push-pull legs recently, guys. It's just like I said, I called it to a T. Push-pull legs, six days a week, a lot of volume, a lot of exercises. A lot of times the exercise order is suboptimal, shall we say. Whatever the case is though, there's a lot to do on paper at least. And something I try to tell a lot of my online clients is that you do not need to do as much as you've been programmed to think that you need to do. Exercise one, bench, incline bench, decline. Right, they go through the whole laundry list of everything in the place you can do for a single muscle group. And if that's you right now, I would recommend that you stop doing that. And I've said this before too, this is what we're gonna get into with this video. A lot of people guys think that they're training hard. They simply just do a lot. Right, they'll go on the machine and they'll just rep out the leg press or the leg extension until, oh man, ugh, they get that last grunt in and they rack it. I'm training hard because I grunted or I strained. That's not actually training hard, guys. Just because you make noise in the gym does not mean you're training hard. There's a concept I'd like to call the gym bro mating call. You know, these guys who do nothing but fluff and pump, bicep curls, skull crushers, nothing but isolation exercises. Even if they do a compound lift, they half rep it. And every time it's, uh, uh. And you guys have seen my own training footage. I grunt myself. I'm not simply saying that you don't need to grunt. I find it very funny whenever people will comment on my videos like, the grunting is unnecessary. It's like, Says who? Seriously, guys, at least for myself, I have long limbs, okay? I do full range of motion on pretty much everything I do. That is physically painful, especially for me, like a full range of motion squat or a press. That is physically painful for me. Not saying I'm going to get injured doing it, but it does not feel comfortable. I'm always amazed whenever I watch these people, and they might even train pretty hard, but they just do it stoically. They're just like dying in the zone. That's crazy. So simply because somebody's grunting, that does not automatically mean that they're training hard, legitimately hard. On the flip side though, simply because somebody is not grunting, that also doesn't mean they're not training hard. But I think the ultimate differentiator here can be found in the exercise selection and overall programming, okay? If you're doing predominantly compound exercises for most of your training, appreciable weights like it's pretty obvious that you are straining whether you're grunting or not then you're probably training hard right if you're somebody who comes in like i said and you're doing isolation exercises you're half repping you're doing constant tension bra right you're just pumping out weights mindlessly yeah then you're probably not training hard like i said the gym bro mating call a lot of these dudes in the gym to get attention to themselves, they will just mindlessly grunt and strain and yell and stuff because that's how they get their kicks, right? They get their attention. Oh, look at that guy. He's a beast. Probably not. The second thing, and this is the thing I thought of whenever I came up with the concept of this video, here's what it really comes down to. Rest days, okay? I'm going to say this bluntly, and I'm going to say this once. If you do not look forward to your rest days in your program. I don't care if it's three day, four day, six day, five, whatever your program is, how it's designed. If you do not look forward to the designated rest days you have on a weekly basis, you do not train hard. 
It's simple as that, guys. I get a lot of guys ask me, hey, dude, I did all my programming. Can I go to the gym for a quick pump bra? Can I just go in and do some biceps and this and that? It's like, no, dude. Okay. Understand this, guys. And I get it, right? You want to do your bicep pump. You have a date later. Ooh, I want to get the arms to look bigger, whatever. I understand that as a dude. A lot of the ladies, too, they just do mindless, endless glute and booty work. I get that. Maybe to get a quick pump on or something. But as a whole, guys, if you are not looking forward to the rest days every week, like currently now it's Wednesday for me. This is my rest day in between my upper lower split. I woke up today, kind of hurts right here, a little bit sore in the shoulder, right? I haven't deloaded in a while. That's going to be coming up too. Still though, every Wednesday, guys, I wake up and I'm like, oh, thank God I can rest. All right. Same with the weekends. I take off Wednesdays and the weekends as it currently stands. I love my rest days, guys. I love training. I think that's pretty evident based on the content on this channel. And I'm sure a lot of you love training too. But you cannot tell me that you actually are training hard if your rest day comes around and you're like, what's going on? You know, it's very typical, especially for the young demographic. You see all these memes, right? The face when it's rest day and these people are just like lost. They don't know what to do with themselves. Guys, it's a rest day. Be productive. Do your laundry, uh, do your homework, study, go to your job, whatever you want to do with your life, right? Take your freaking dog for a walk or something, okay? But if your rest days come around and you are itching to go to the gym, find me anybody who does squats, deadlifts, overhead press of some capacity, rows, pull-ups, chin-ups, right? The big exercises. Find me anybody who does these week in and week out with appreciable weight, with good range of motion, and tell me they don't look forward to their rest day. Like I said, guys, I love the gym. If there were no fatigue concerns and no time concerns, I'd be in the gym every day of my life. All right, but life doesn't work that way. They're called rest days. They're not just called bored. Oh, there's nothing on the spreadsheet day. Relax. <sighs> I'm not saying just be a total lazy bum, but stop running to the gym simply because you're bored. If your rest day comes and you have nothing to do, why do you have nothing to do, bro? I can guarantee a good percentage of you guys watching this right now, you're in school. You have a paper due tomorrow morning two mornings, three mornings from now, next week, whatever it is, you have a paper or assignment due in the immediate future. Haven't even started it. Oh, well, I, I do Adderall the night before and I stay up late and pulling on Adderall. Oh, so what you're saying is you're damaging your recovery prior to a day where you're going to lift to write a paper. You could be writing now, but instead you're going to go, oh, I got to go get my bicep pump bra. And there's the girl there that I think is cute, but I'm not going to talk to her. Yeah. You can't fool me, bro. There's currently a homeless guy lurking near my car. This is vintage LA shit. Now I gotta keep like looking in my mirrors to see if he starts banging on the window. That's another point I wanna make as well. If you do normally love going to the gym and it's been kind of being like, oh, I don't wanna go, or you're kind of getting sick of it a bit, it might be time for a deload. That's a whole nother topic. I might make a full video about deloading. However, that's what I mean, guys. If you are not putting your rest days to good use, if you don't look forward to them, if you're simply just sitting around bored and you just go to the gym because you just like to go to the gym when it's your rest day, something's wrong. If you guys would like help with your own programming, you can hit me up on the Patreon. You can join my online coaching team. I'm accepting clients currently. We have a few guys already. There's ways to get in contact with me, guys. Not Instagram DMs. I get a lot of people DMing me on Instagram. I'm not going to read it for the most part. My DMs are flooded, guys. I barely check Instagram as it is. But this has been it, guys. Thank you for watching and getting in contact with me. Like I said, if you have any questions, thank you to the current Patreon supporters. Tell me what you want to see next in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys next time.